Hey everyone, this is Keith Seatstra, and this is my introduction video for our preaching practicum class. Uh, so first question was, um, where do I live and with whom? So uh, I live in a small northwest Iowa rural town called Rock Valley. It's a town of about 4,000 people. Uh, and I live there with my wife, Anita, of almost 13 years, and our four children, Case, uh, who is a second grader, uh, Lydia, who is in kindergarten this year, and then Savannah, who is four, and Avery, who will be turning one next week. So life is pretty busy and full, but um, God has us just in a really sweet place and uh, spot in our lives, and we're very grateful for that. Uh, the next question is to reflect on our experience of preaching, both as a preacher and as a listener. Um, I think really, especially since probably um, wrestling with God calling me into ministry, I probably have paid more attention to the way um, preachers share their message, the way things are put together, and uh, how they try and drive home points, or... Um, the way even some of the exegetical work is done um, throughout the week, I, I know just the chance to have had conversations with past um, pastors, just even kind of ask those questions. And so I think as I just reflect on that, um, more just from that listening standpoint of um, you know, the, the unique opportunity that we have to, to hear the Word of God proclaimed, right? And it sounds different every week. Um, and just that truth that some weeks it, it may really catch you and hit you right where you're at, and then some weeks um, maybe not so much. Uh, and and there, there are sermons and truths that we have to tuck away for future reference and um, when those circumstances or moments come in our life. Uh, and so the flip side of that then is, is I think, understanding that too as a pastor, um, even in putting together um, not only if, if you're a pastor who does a whole year of you know what your sermon series are going to be, but we have to be spending a lot of time, I think, just listening and asking God to be revealing um, what it is that he is asking us to proclaim about his good news for the people that we are sharing with. And that could be on a Sunday morning. It could be uh, doing an FCA event at your local school, or maybe you speak at some different engagement. You know, Each of those times that we get to proclaim the gospel um, I, I think we're asked to share a little bit differently uh, and to, to share different aspects of it. Uh, and so, of course, we can catch the snapshot of, of the gospel in that uh, we are sinners and Christ came uh, and lived a perfect, blameless life uh, and died for us. And then because he has conquered sin and death and risen from the grave, uh, we have the hope of eternal life, right? There's the snapshot of the gospel, but there's so many parts of that uh, within preaching that, that we begin to um, step into. And and so when I think about this quarter and even my, my hopes for it, um, thinking specifically of Christmas and Easter and of weddings and of funerals, uh, I, I know just in, in my pit, uh, I, I get really anxious about thinking of doing funerals especially, um, but, but weddings too. And, and I think it's um, just the, the emotion that's involved in that and, and just in my own humanness me saying, man, I, I don't want to screw these moments up. Uh, I, I want the wedding to go off well and, uh, and, and I want to proclaim truth to them and encouragement uh, over the, this, this union that's, that this man and wife are stepping into. Uh, and the same for a funeral, right? No matter what those situations are, I even think for this class, right? We're going from uh, an infant who's passed away to a child to a middle-aged person who dies unexpectedly. Uh, and in each of those, again, situations are so different. Um, and so I think what God has just been revealing to me is um, that that his word, right, is is truth in all of it. Uh, and so we don't tell the exact same message and we don't use the exact same words week to week. We, we use different words and different stories, different parts of scripture, I think to just capture exactly um, the, the, not just the emotion, but just what is happening in the midst of those circumstances. Uh, and so uh, I just really this quarter, I just really to dive into those big preaching moments of Easter and Christmas where um, we know the church sometimes fills with people who aren't usually there. Uh, and I think the same can be said of, of uh, weddings and of funerals, that the, 
the church can be filled with people who maybe aren't usually there, and we have those unique moments to really share the heart of the gospel. And so just for me, I'm just hoping and and excited to push into that in new ways and uh, and to learn and really to listen. I think what I appreciated the first time going through the, the PR 500 was just getting to listen to other people dive into scripture and how they um, felt felt. Uh, the, the spirit just moving and speaking to them and, and it's encouraging to me to to maybe listen in a different way or to dive into sharing a sermon in a structure that's a little different than what I've done in the past uh, and so uh, I'm just excited about that interaction part for us as well um, and so if I have a, a prayer request for um, I guess the the class in the quarter ahead um, it's you know for for me personally or, or professionally right now in the ministry as as I near the end of my MDiv and seeking ordination in our um, denomination, uh, really wrestling with is God calling me into kind of that lead pastor role uh, where you're preaching forty plus times a year, uh, or is He calling me to stay right where I'm at in kind of this role of discipleship where um, you know maybe I preach two or three times a year and and really get to engage with just the life of people. Um, in their spiritual journey. And so just asking for clarity in that as, as our lead pastor is nearing a time of retirement uh, and we just begin to ask that conversation and knowing that people will approach me and, and ask the same thing. Um, so yeah, lots of thoughts and emotions packed into what this class will hold and what it means to preach and proclaim the good news of the gospel uh, and just looking forward to growing. So look forward to hearing everybody else's videos and just getting to interact with you throughout the quarter. God bless.